although it's only the end of November, with still a full month to go, we've already achieved our best sales year in the, history, in the entire history of Nissan North America. So something we're very, very proud of. And for those of you that have known me and known me in my past life, you know that if there's one thing about me that I preach to my people day in and day out, we must remain humble and hungry. Because the second we stop being humble and hungry is the day we will absolutely crater. So let me get into it. Our manufacturing. Hard to believe, some of you may know this, some of you may not know this, but almost 85% of our U.S. volume in the, in the U.S., as I mentioned, is produced locally in the United States or in North America. And our Smyrna, Tennessee plant, as I mentioned earlier, is the largest volume producing plant in the entire United States amongst all OEMs. 650,000 units in 2015. The, the level of complexity in that plant, all I know is that I'm glad I'm not a plant manager and a plant engineer because I don't know how those guys keep things straight. <clears throat> Nonetheless, they do a great job of keeping it all together and making sure that the quality that's coming out of those plants is, is uh, bar none. Cat Mississippi plant, fast on the rise and growing like crazy, becoming a global production hub, particularly thanks to Murano now that we've brought Murano from overseas and now brought it to the United States to Catton, Mississippi. That's also been a big step forward to getting us to this 85% mark of our vehicles being produced here in North America that we sell here in the United States. We actually assemble eight different vehicles there. You talk about product complexity, very complex operation and very sophisticated operation. 1,300 jobs, of course, including 400 supplier jobs that support this Murano production and this Murano launch. Uh, with total jobs of over 6,000 for the first time in all of history with Nissan North America. So again, manufacturing doing really, really well. We have John Martin, our Senior Vice President of Manufacturing, who is bar none the best that we have in the entire corporation worldwide, who has come to the United States and been a breath of fresh air for us in getting some of our quality issues that we stubbed our toes on in the last couple of years corrected. So. Uh, he's all on top of that. <clears throat> Fuel economy leadership, I talked to you about that earlier. Ranked the best of any full line manufacturer in the 2014 EPA study. We had the largest year over year improvement of any manufacturer in the US, improving by over two miles per gallon, which was an 8.7% increase. And a lot of the increases were driven by weight reduction as well as, as, well as aerodynamics and other efficiency standards like what we've done with the transmission and so forth. Uh, and also our fleet-wide fuel economy rating is now an amazing 26.6. So again, combined fuel economy, an amazing feat for us as a, as a manufacturer. Last year we were number two. We felt confident that we were gonna be number one this year and lo and behold, our great folks in design, engineering, and manufacturing have actually made it happen. And of course, number one rank achieved all of this. You're, uh, some of you may be assuming that LEAF is, of course, in that equation that gives us that MPG gain, but that's absolutely not true. That is with LEAF out of the uh, equation. If we added LEAF into that, we would be an even better story.